Almost everybody else has had nothing but praise for the Nothing Phones home screen setup. But this just doesn't do it for me. Before now, I have watched video after video to see what the hype has been all about, what the excitement has been all about, and I have not succeeded at figuring it out. Here is a Nothing Phone 3A, and I have had time playing around with its home screen setup, and even in the flesh, I still don't get what the hype, the praise, the excitement is all about. It looks rather drab, boring, unexciting. It looks soulless almost too computer-like, too machine-like for me. The app drawer is fine, almost stock Android-like. I love this. This is beautiful. This works for me. But you see, this home screen setup, no, it doesn't work for me. So I am going to modify this home screen to my taste. First, this has to go and has to be replaced with a digital clock. A widget clock. I'll take this CT and time displayed. Thank you. This has to go. What does it do? It's just smiling at me. Widget settings. It sets screen time. Yes, yeah, so a good point that I want to make about the Nothing home screen setup is that it looks like a home screen that is designed for somebody who does not want to use their phone a lot. That's what it strikes me at. This is a home screen layout for someone who does not want to use their phone a lot. So this makes sense. A screen time daily limit makes sense. That fits perfectly well. If that's what Nothing was trying to achieve, well done, kudos. But it has to go for me. Let's see, what else can I put there? I can put a calendar or a date, a date widget. Yes, so I have home, time, date, day of the week. Superb. Tap to add city. Okay, let's see, what does that do? Allow location, weather, okay, permissions, location, let's do all the time. And let's see what that gets us. Again, this is do not disturb, do not disturb widget here, which again suggests that the goal that nothing set out to achieve was to keep the user away from as much distractions by their phone as possible. I can live with that, but even at that, the home screen just still feels too lifeless for me. And I'm going to have to change things. I'm waiting for the weather app. Is this all it's going to do? I'm expecting more information here. So I have to interact with the widget in order to see what's up. No. For a phone and home screen designed to keep me from using the phone as much as possible, just give me the information at one glance. I don't want to have to scroll through. So I wish there's a way to change how this weather widget works. Honestly, I don't like this. It's going to have to go. Do not disturb. Yes, I can live with that. I can live that right there. This is Google's suite of apps. I usually do not like them on my home screen like that. The search bar has to go. Customization. Layout. Search bar. No search bar, please. Apply. Thank you. I'm going back into that customization. Icon pack. I need icons that speak life to my soul. These icons look too robotic, that's the word. So I'm back to using the default icon pack for Android. And then I am removing this folder here. I'm going to 
bring the number of apps out there, apps that I use. There are a set of apps that I tend to have on my home screen, no matter what. Where is Maps? Maps has to always be on my home screen. I don't need any of these others. So, remove. There you go. I don't need Google Meet here. Remove. I don't need the Play Store. There, remove. I'm going to leave these guys. What do they do? This is the Photos Gallery. This is Essential Space. This is for voice recording during calls. And this, the Nothing X app for pairing with a set of Nothing earbuds and earpieces. I don't have any of those around or with me yet, so I can't use it. But I'll leave it there. I am also going to move this up. I mean, what, what are we doing with that space up there? There's no point. I need space down here for the things I want to do. And maps will go here. Now, my favorite apps for the home screen. Canva. Sorry about that. Canva, you're going here. Calculator. I always love to have a calculator on my home screen for quick add-ups and all that. So what other apps? Photo editor. Okay, I think I might do this and do this. WhatsApp. Yes, I use WhatsApp a lot. Let's put Facebook here. I put Gemini to use quite a bit. These applications are out of habit, really. I can pretty much pick up my phone and tap on these apps without thinking twice about where they are because I'm used to having them in this position. YouTube Studio. Yep. There you go. I can live with this. And I still have one row free for four more apps if I want. I don't use Chrome. Sorry, Chrome. I use Microsoft Edge. Yes, that may sound crazy to some of you, but Microsoft Edge is superb. And then I have this two like this. This is a perfect home screen layout for me. Oh, it's not perfect yet because I do not like this background image. And I am going into Google Photos and picking one of my favorite wallpapers. Use us. Set as wallpaper. See this? It's beautiful. I love it. And I'm going to set it only as home screen wallpaper. I have atmosphere off because I have an image of myself as my lock screen wallpaper. Why do I do that? I do that because in a case of uh, a random dispute over who owns a phone in public, all you have to do is wake up the lock screen for people to see the picture of who's there. If that's your phone, what's my picture doing on your lock screen? That kind of a thing. Uh, so I have atmosphere of Atmo what atmosphere does is it uses the same image for both the lock screen and the home screen wallpaper because I'm using a different image for my lock screen. I have to turn it off. What glass does is put this effect on it. Well, let's have a look at it and then I can remove it. I don't want it. Done. So this is how it looks. Of course, it makes it easy to recognize that this is a nothing phone. To the best of my knowledge, only nothing phones have this effect. 
Do I like it? I'm not sure. So, if I turn it off, I'm turning glass off there. And then, it looks more like, this looks more like me. This feels more like a home screen that's mine. This is a third party widget. Mind you, it's, it's not, it's not by nothing. So this is it. This is my default layout. As you can see, this reflects how I use my home screen. Nothing actually allows us to change app sizes. This is a cool thing to have. It's a cool thing to have, being able to, even if not for any practical purpose, just being able to give your home screen a different look from what you'd see with other phone makers. If I do the same for maps, what would happen? Hmm. Okay, I like this. This speaks to my soul. This home screen has life, has soul. So this is how to customize your Northern Phone 3A home screen setup. There are three levels, home settings, and these are what you find there. You can freeze your home screen layout so that nobody messes with it. I don't want the Google app, but if you want it, you can enable it and it's here. Hi. Right. I'm just going to turn it back off. The next layer is widgets. Let's see if I remove this. This quick look seems like it gets the job done. Anyway, I'm going to keep tweaking it till I get what I want. Okay, so I have a setup that looks really okay for me. Let me know if you have questions about setting up your nothing phone home screen and I provide as many useful answers as I can and help you work it out. Thank you for watching this video. Do like it. Please do share it. Do follow my channel and I'll see you in my next one.